Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Tenyosin1, and today we're back with yet another tutorial, you know, the, the perfect time for tutorials because, you know, quarantine and whatever. Uh, and something, ba someone basically asked me in the comment section on how to set up two different players. Uh, from what I see, they, did, they, they didn't mention uh, networking, so yeah, uh, I'm assuming it's local frame, like local FPS players. So they basically want to see, they're saying that you know, in their screen, they want to see a cool animation with the gun moving around, basically a local player with with a weapon. And the second player's screen, they want them to see like a completely different animation that's easier to manage, that's easier to work with. Um, and they're just asking that how would a two camera setup work with that? Uh, and basically, we're going to be making use of layers and what the camera sees, what each camera sees. This is uh, specifically for two player setup, you can adapt it to three or four players. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll show you how that works. I'm not sure that three or four players is more better, but like just two players for now. Uh, and yeah, let's get right on to it. Shall we? Okay, so back in back in Unity, you can see we have this little setup here where you have a player one. This is the first player. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't just work with it. Okay, and we have a player two. Uh, two players, really basic setup. Uh, it's just you know this is supposed to be their weapon. This is supposed to be the torso. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine the torso is what contains the head, the arms, like the third person arms, and everything. You know the torso itself, the spine, whatever. Uh, these are supposed to be the legs. Uh, this is just a local weapon that the player themselves see, right? Uh, now, here we have a second player. The second player has a local weapon, you know, just something that they are seeing. Same same setup, you know, same thing going on. Uh, what we want to do is we want it so that only the, the, the player one can see their weapon. Uh, they cannot see their torso because the weapon is basically going to be arms and everything, and we're not supposed to see their, see our torso, we're only supposed to see our own legs when we look down, right? Uh, so it's not supposed to see this, it is only supposed to see this and this, right? Two things. Uh, if I look here uh, in, in the view, you can see this is the player one's camera, this is the player two's camera. Player one can see their weapon, but they cannot see the other player's weapon. This is supposed to be local, right? Imagine, uh, you know, maybe I'll put a graph here, you know, a cool little image in the post editing where you can see that that guy is a 3D character and they've got their weapon going, right? Uh, and and here it's the same thing going. And what if I move the camera, like make it so it looks down, right? So if you make the camera look down, you can see that we're not we're not able to see our torso. Like as like if there's no torso, we can only see the legs, right? Um, and you know, otherwise it would be like this. We'd be able to see our torso. And we'd also be able to see the other person's weapon. You can see that. So we were supposed to fix all that. So how does that work? Uh, let's let's start by that, right? So first things first. We've got a basic. Um, it, this is more of an explanation thing, so I'm just gonna walk through it. We've got a player one. We've got a player two. I told you everything about it. The one thing I'm doing is you might notice we have layers here. So we're gonna work with two layers because we have two players. We are, we're gonna work with two layers. Let's go click on the layer here, and go to add layer. And you can see there's a bunch of layers. Uh, it doesn't matter which layer you assign this to unless you are specifically working with bigger or smaller layers or, you know, however you have it in your code. But for the sake of this video, I'm just, I've just selected random layers, 20 and 21. And we have two, for two players, we have set two, two layers, so player one and player two. Um, so what's happening is player one is supposed, if an object is on player one layer, that means that only the player one can see it. If an object is on player two layer, then only the player two can see it. So if I go to player one here and I click on the local weapon, what we do is we give it the layer player one, right? So now player one can see this object. If you go to player two and we look at its uh, local weapon, it has the layer player two. So only player two can see its own weapon, local weapon, right? Um, Similarly, there's one this one thing I've done, which might sound a bit confusing, but it follows the same exact thing. It's for the torso. Remember how I said we're not supposed to see our own torso, but only our legs? So in the case of player one, what it's doing is basically um, the torso itself is set to player two. What does that mean? That means that only, and I mean only, the player two can see our torso, but the player one itself, when it looks down, cannot see it. 
right? And the same goes for the for the second player, only in a set to player one. That means only the player one can see the second player's torso, but the player two itself cannot see its own torso, right? How is it set up? Now, we have the layers set up. How is it that the cameras are doing their magic? Uh, basically, if you select the player one's camera, what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Culling Mask right here, and you can click it, and by default, it should be set to everything. You know, let's let's just set it to everything, just for the sake of this to show you. So you have it set to everything, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the culling masks, and we're going to say, "Hey, player one is only supposed to see whatever is on its own layer." Okay, so this is checked. Everything that's checked, uh, player one can see. Everything that's not checked, player one cannot see. So we're just going to click on player two here. Boom. Now, if you go to the game view, you can see player two cannot see it. By default, it was like this. You can see the the, the player's weapon. But if you click, if you uncheck this, you cannot see their weapon. And same with your torso. So if you look down here, you know, if it was set to everything, you can see your own torso. If it was set to only player one, then you cannot see your own torso. And with that, we're done. We're done. This is this was it. This is all. Same with the player two. So we go to player two here and we click on its calling mask and we say, hey, player two is only supposed to see what's on its own layer, not on the other player's layer. So we're just gonna uncheck that. So now yeah, you know, if you go to game view, same thing. Player one can see player two's torso and legs, but not its local weapon. And player two can see, you know, the torso and legs, but not the local weapon. And also, you know, same thing if you look down, cannot see its own torso. And that's about it. That's really all, all for the video. You know, it's for done. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my Patreon page. Uh, donating there would greatly help me. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you got some work for me, uh, check out my Fiverr. Uh, links are um, all in the description and yeah that's about it so i hope you guys understood what i just said i might have been going too fast but yeah uh that's about it uh i hope it qu it, it answered the person who asked, asked the question it answered their question as well uh for networking it's a different uh way of doing things um but yeah essentially for networking what what you do is you just have local and global uh setups and you can it, it's it's it, in my opinion it's like easier to manage but yeah nonetheless uh there you have it and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and there's just something and um yeah let me know what other videos you want i'm just gonna go do like short quick ones so at least i can make videos and not be a lazy boy and hope you guys are doing well in in lockdown and quarantine you know i hope you guys are staying home doing something you know hope you're healthy take care of yourself uh, be sure to stay clean wash your hands and, um you know just don't panic. Uh, I, I think we can all fight together with this, and I think everything will be fine. Um, and with that said and done, take care, and peace out. See you guys later.